Uh, welcome. So uh, this is my review of the Salamander Little Range. Uh, I've had mine for about four months now. Um, it's installed in what would have originally been the kitchen in my small two up, two down Edwardian Terrace in York. Um, I was really keen to try and bring back some of the Edwardian feel to the kitchen. Sadly, the original coal range um, that was in this room is long gone. So uh, someone had put in a fairly hideous cast iron reproduction gas fireplace. So I pulled that out and opened the space up back to its original size that it would have been when the coal range was in there. Um, I looked at a few different options. Um, I decided on the Salamander uh, little range as it met my needs in terms of price, kilowatt heating output and features. And with York being a clean air zone, it needed to be DEFRA approved. Um, I didn't need something as big as an Argo or an EC um, as it's not my main cooking appliance. I still have a normal kitchen in my house with an electric oven. So primarily I was after a log burner um, that had the added bonus of a, a small oven. Um, so far I've been really pleased with it. Um, it puts out just the right amount of heat for my house. Um, it's really easy to light. It's very controllable. Um, I started off running it on smokeless fuel, but after reading about the damage that smokeless coal can do to the flue liner, even like the quite good high quality flue liners, I decided to switch to initially seasoned oak and a bit of birch and then I switched over to uh, Pinake um, compressed fuel logs. I find that the, the Pinake logs are pretty good value for money. They're um, easier to store because of being a uniform size and uh, they burn much cleaner than even really well seasoned firewood. As a room heater, it works great, no complaints, but it really shines when you make use of the oven. Um, even without engaging the oven mode directly, um, just with having the fire on, the oven will still get up to a pretty reasonable temperature. Um, so perfect for reheating some leftovers or warming up some bread or anything like that. Um, but if you do engage the oven and get it up to proper operating temperature, which doesn't take very long at all, it's one of the best little ovens I've ever used. Um, much, much prefer it to my electric oven. So the main difference to an electric oven is that the heat is really, really even. So all sides of the oven radiate heat pretty much uniformly. So the sides, the top and the bottom are all putting out pretty decent indirect heat. So this results in really even cooking and it's actually really difficult to burn stuff in the oven. Stuff cooks really evenly all round. Um, yeah, it's fantastic. So I've found it really good for baking bread. Uh, you can bake cakes in it, no problem. Um, but where it absolutely shines is for roasting meat. So roast chicken comes out really tender, succulent, just falls off the bone. Um, roast lamb and beef brown up beautifully on the outside without drying out on the inside. Um, the oven, the way it's sealed, it retains a lot of moisture, much more than an electric oven. So the oven is a lot smaller than a normal oven. But because of the way it heats, you can put things right up to the sides and the top and the bottom without it burning. Um, I've found that the small size steel roasting pans from IKEA are an absolute perfect fit and you can actually fit two of them in the oven at once if you use the little rack. The cakes can't fit a normal cake tin in there, so I either use the roasting pans to make a cake in, make a rectangular cake, or I use two small round cake tins and just make two small cakes. Uh, it'll take a little bit to get a feel for the temperature gauge. Um, just need to do this through using it. Um, I did a bit of testing with a temperature probe and I found yellow is about 100 degrees Celsius. Um, between yellow and orange is about 150. And towards the top end of orange is about 180. So one feature that I wasn't expecting that I really like is the ability to riddle the grate without opening the door. That's super handy, um, nice feature. Didn't see anything about that on Salamander's website, but yeah, nice one. The only two very minor niggles that I have is that the hinge on the oven door will start to lift out, so the hinge pin will lift up, but you can just give it a little tap and it will tap back down. Um, I also found that the grub screw that holds the lever that controls the oven um, temperature was coming loose. So I swapped that out for a slightly longer screw um, and put a bit of Loctite on it and it's not been a problem since. So overall, I'm extremely pleased with the little range. Um, my house is much, much warmer and drier for having it installed. Having the extra oven is really handy. Um, cooking Christmas dinner and it was a quite special experience. Um, but just every, even day to day, it's really nice, you know, just to heat up a bowl of soup or warm up some bread or, you know, it's absolutely lovely little range. Highly recommended. Um, if 
you've got any questions please feel free to ask it in the comments below or you know reach out nice one happy cooking cheers